For more than 500 years, the songs and poems of Kabir have enchanted India, where his name is still a household word. Learned scholars, wandering ascetics, classical musicians, and illiterate villagers all have fallen under the spell of his exquisite poetry. Kabir's wonderful songs still survive and cannot be corrupted. His songs are the spontaneous expressions of his vision and his love. His songs soar far above the disputes of Hindu and Muslim. In their universality, they unite all religions and creeds and then dissolve into oneness. He was essentially a poet and a musician. Rhythm and harmony were to him the garments of beauty and truth. Creation, he says again and again, is full of music. It is music. It can be heard in the home as well as in the heavens, discerned by the ears of the common men as well as by the trained senses of the ascetic. The body of every person is an instrument on which Brahma, the source of all music, plays. Everywhere Kabir discerns the unstruck music of the infinite. That celestial melody which the angel played even to St. Francis. And even in this wide and rapturous vision of the universe, Kabir never loses touch or forgets the common life. His feet are firmly planted upon the earth. He was a weaver who earned his living at the loom. The work of his hands helped rather than hindered the impassioned meditation of his heart. It is impossible to simply read these poems and then forget them. They enter the consciousness at a level far beyond that of every day, and the message they bring is one only the soul can truly understand. Within this earthen vessel are bowers and groves, and within it is the Creator. Within this vessel are the seven oceans and the unnumbered stars. The touchstone and the jewel appraiser are within. And within this vessel, the eternal soundeth and the spring wells up. Kabir says, listen to me, my friend. My beloved Lord is within. Oh, how may I ever express that secret word? Oh, how can I say he is not like this and he is like that? If I say that he is within me, the universe is ashamed. If I say that he is without me, it is falsehood. He makes the inner and the outer worlds to be indivisibly one, the conscious and the unconscious. Both are his footstools. He is neither manifest nor hidden. He is neither revealed nor unrevealed. There are no words to tell that which he is. The light of the sun, the moon, and the stars shine bright. 
the melody of love swells forth and the rhythm of love's detachment beats the time day and night the chorus of music fills the heavens kabir says my beloved one gleams like the lightning flash in the sky do you know how the moments perform their adoration waving its row of lamps the universe sings in worship day and night there are the hidden banner and the secret canopy there the sound of the unseen bells is heard kabir says there adoration never ceases there the lord of the universe sitteth on his throne the whole world does its works and commits its errors but few are the lovers who know the beloved the devout seeker is he who mingles in his heart the double currents of love and detachment like the mingling of the streams of the ganges and the jumna in his heart the sacred waters flow day and night and thus the round of births and deaths is brought to an end behold what wonderful rest is in the supreme spirit and he enjoys it who makes himself meet for it held by the cords of love the swing of the ocean of joy sways to and fro and a mighty sound breaks forth in song see what a lotus blooms there without water and kabir says my heart's bee drinks its nectar what a wonderful lotus it is that blooms at the heart of the spinning wheel of the universe only a few pure souls know of its true delight music is all around it and there the heart partakes of the joy of the infinite sea kabir says dive thou into the ocean of sweetness thus let all errors of life and death flee away behold how the thirst of the five senses is quenched there and the three forms of misery are no more kabir says it is the sport of the unattainable one look within and behold how the moon beams of that hidden one shine in you i laugh when i hear that the fish in the water is thirsty you do not see that the real is in your home and you wander from forest to forest listlessly here is the truth go where you will to banares or to mathura if you do not find your soul the world is unreal to you the hidden banner is planted in the temple of the sky there the blue canopy decked with the moon and set with bright jewels is spread there the light of the sun and the moon is shining still your mind to silence before that splendor kabir says he who has drunk of this nectar wanders like one who is mad I have stilled my restless mind and my heart is radiant for in thatness I have seen beyond thatness in company I have seen the beloved himself living in bondage I have set myself free 
I have broken away from the clutch of all narrowness. Kabir says, I have attained the unattainable, and my heart is colored with the color of love. That which you see is not, and for that which is, you have no words. Unless you see, you believe not. What is told you, you cannot accept. He who is discerning knows by the word, and the ignorant stands gaping. Some contemplate the formless, and others meditate on form. But the wise man knows that Brahma is beyond both. That beauty of his is not seen of the eye. That meter of his is not heard of the ear. Kabir says, He who has found both love and renunciation never descends to death. When I am parted from my beloved, my heart is full of misery. I have no comfort in the day. I have no sleep in the night. To whom shall I tell my sorrow? The night is dark. The hours slip by. Because my Lord is absent, I start up and tremble with fear. Kabir says, Listen, my friend, there is no other satisfaction save in the encounter with the Beloved. Subtle is the path of love. Therein there is no asking and no not asking. There one loses oneself at his feet. There one is immersed in the joy of the seeking plunged into the depths of love as a fish in the water. The lover is never slow in offering his head for the Lord's service. Kabir declares the secret of this love. The woman who is parted from her lover spins at the spinning wheel. The city of the body arises in its beauty, and within it the palace of the mind has been built. The wheel of love revolves in the sky, and the seat is made of the jewels of knowledge. What subtle threads the woman weaves, and makes them fine with love and reverence. Kabir says, I am weaving the garland of day and night. When my lover comes and touches me with his feet, I shall offer him my tears. Beneath the great umbrella of my king, millions of suns and moons and stars are shining. He is the mind within my mind. He is the eye within mine eye. Ah. Could my mind and eyes be one? Could my love but reach to my lover? Could but the fiery heat of my heart be cooled? Kabir says, When you unite love with the lover, then you have love's perfection. The moon shines in my body but my blind eyes cannot see it. The moon is within me, and so is the sun. The unstruck drum of eternity is sounded within me, but my deaf ears cannot hear it. So long as man clamors for the eye and the mind, his works are but naught. When all love of the eye and the mind is dead, then the work of the Lord is done. For work has no other aim 
than the getting of knowledge. When that comes, then work is put away. The flower blooms for the fruit. When the fruit comes, the flower withers. The musk is in the deer, but it seeks it not within itself. It wanders in quest of grass.